Alicia Dixon, Hannah Waddingham and Julia Sanina commanded attention when they took to the stage to present the Eurovision Song Contest's second semi-final live on BBC One. Alicia donned a partly sheer black corseted mini dress with a voluminous train, Julia opted for a blue leather jumpsuit with stitching and Hannah stummed in a figure-hugging yellow dress. Ahead of introducing the first act of the evening, Alicia gave a rundown of the voting rules. She told BBC viewers, the power is in your hands, with great power come great responsibility. Whether you vote via the official Eurovision app, by phone, or by text message, the numbers you need are on the screen now. King Charles has regrets over Prince Harry's coronation invite the last two digits correspond to the song you are voting for, I know you are excited but you can't vote yet. You need to wait until all 16 acts have performed. However, commentator Ryland had to correct Alice off error, telling viewers, now tonight, viewers in the UK can vote by phone or by the Eurovision app, but despite what Alicia said, you cannot vote by text. The vote opens after all 16 acts of the evening have performed and Ryland pleaded with viewers not to vote before then as the vote would not count. Holly and Philip likely to call it a day as replacements ready, bookies don't miss. The one show fans gobsmacked at Danny Minogue's age as they praise appearance, update, Austria's Eurovision stars explain puzzling lyrics to who the hell is Edgar, insight, Sophie Ellis Bexter fears UK will be wrong side of leaderboard at Eurovision, latest. The countries which made it through the final during the first semi-final include Sweden, Norway, Portugal, Serbia, Czechia, Finland, Israel, Croatia, Moldova, and Switzerland. According to the bookmaker Lad Brooks, Sweden's Zach Lorin is the favorite to win this year's competition with odds of 8-13. Laureen won the Eurovision Song Contest in 2012 with the power ballad Euphoria, so will she be able to do it again with her latest song tattoo? Finland's act, Karia, is the second favorite with odds of 9 fourths of winning with the up-tempo beat Cha Cha Cha. Israel's entry, Noah Carroll is a superstar in her own right in her own country and she dazzled BBC viewers with her steamy performance to her song Unicorn. After securing a spot in the final, she shared, I am very excited, very honored to be here and on this stage. To represent my country and to take them to the final. I'm so happy. Here, you're part of something really big, with your whole country behind you. It's something that's very different. The Eurovision Song Contest 2023 final airs BBC One on Saturday at 8pm, 